So the Global EV team has been meeting for about 14 months now, uh, originally formed in December of 2021. Uh, up to this point, we've primarily been meeting monthly uh, through MS Teams, um, some minor communication in between, but it became evident that uh, there's we needed more than an hour and a half meeting every 30 days. So in the fall of uh, 2022, at BLC, we decided uh, to help form our first face-to-face -face summit in the first quarter of 2023. Uh, at that time, we picked uh, the, the relevant EV-dedicated team members from across the world, uh, plus the supporting uh, departments of uh, marketing and category management to put the summit together here in uh, Linz, Austria. And uh, we're very pleased with the, with the output so far with uh, over 50 participants. So Bassard has been in uh, the EV industry since uh, about 2010, uh, primarily in North America with uh, a well-known EV OEM that uh, has now gone international. We've added to that initial customer by several other larger uh, EV customers in uh, North America and a few now in Europe and Asia. Uh, we're also operating at the tier one level with those, um, uh, the suppliers of those same EV uh, OEMs. So, Plans for the future would include uh, additional uh, um, planning for uh, penetrating smaller and smaller startups, potential of getting involved with traditional automotive tier ones that call on EV customers where we do not yet have the, the depth of business today. So with uh, the mandates, uh, within all regions of the world, North America and Europe specifically, uh, we see that uh, by 2030, 2035, in some instances, uh, EVs are being mandated by uh, state and uh, um, uh, countrywide governments. So this uh, not only is going to increase the, the need for our support for EV customers themselves, but for the EV charging uh, infrastructure network. Uh, this right now has many, many smaller players. There's consolidation surely to come for um, uh, the next uh, five to 10 years. Uh, the, the real trick for Bassard right now is to, to look into our crystal ball and try to find out who the, the winners and losers will be by uh, 2035. So within the past dozen years, we've now developed over 1300 parts for EV customers. Uh, in industry terms, the, it's, uh, these parts are required to have a, a level three PPAP. Uh, this is very important that these are all specialty parts that are not uh, from a traditional catalog from ourselves or others. Uh, we've taken this, uh, this database and put it online now into a Power BI application. Uh, certainly we have it for internal use for our engineers, but we will very soon be offering it to our customers. They will have full visibility to our uh, 1300 part Cat online catalog with 2D drawings, with inventory information, uh, relevant usage information to find uh, either ideal candidates or, or near identical candidates for potential use on their uh, future products. Uh, hydrogen, uh, at this time, the real interest we see is from um, commercial vehicle manufacturers. So there are, there are some, which I don't uh, want to name, that are developing uh, fuel cell hydrogen uh, vehicles and the, the hydrogen resupply networks. But this would be in very discrete routes, um, city to city, region to region. Uh, I don't see the interest or the infrastructure to be built around, say, passenger car vehicles to be based on, uh, on hydrogen. So prior to 2021, uh, Bassard approached uh, automotive uh, and EV in a very regional way. Uh, regional could be country to country uh, or region to region, but any knowledge developed from a particular customer was really contained still within that region. Uh, by 2021, uh, Bassard Group as a whole decided to address uh, several vertical markets with more intensity. Uh, the first of that being the EV uh, vertical. So a dedicated team uh, began to come together, uh, including external hires and internal promotions, 
uh, initially in North America, but now following in Europe and uh, Asia Pacific as well. The team is, uh, is now coming together in a global way to develop the, the systems, uh, the personnel, um, and the tools to uh, bring to bear the full power of uh, Bassard's uh, product and uh, service uh, and productivity portfolio to uh, bring to bear on the EV market uh, for now and in the decades to come. Thank you.